case study is set in Chandigarh. When Corbusier proposed his vision for Chandigarh, he aimed to create a city that merged the serenity of the countryside with the efficiency of the urban lift. The city's planning incorporated different organs, reflecting a holistic approach to urban development. However, amidst the grandeur of the architectural design, an important factor was overlooked, the cultural activation of the people. The residents were left to adapt to the scenic beauty surrounding them, while the city excluded beauty, its planning lacked the cultural vibrancy that defines the essence of a community. Over the course of 44 years, Chandigarh experienced a remarkable transformation as its residents embraced their city's unique design. The graphical representation here, presented from a human eye perspective, came to life with the recognition and appreciation of the greens and small water bodies that now characterize Chandigarh. Chandigarh had successfully evolved alongside its people, becoming a prime example of a well-planned city. However, with the substantial increase in population, the city, which was initially designed for the future, has now outgrown and struggles to accommodate the growing number of vehicles. In response to this issue, the government proposes the construction of Chandigarh's first flyover. The proposal aims to address the problems by diverting traffic and easing congestion. The location of the proposal made traffic steady and smooth at the most busy junction of the city, the Tribune Chalk. Yet the government's proposal for the flyover sparks a heated socio-political debate. Multiple petitions were filed and the people raised their voices in the opposition. The city becomes divided with two sides forming strong arguments for and against the proposed driver. On one hand, supporters of the project argue that this is the only viable solution to alleviate traffic congestion. They believe that flyovers will divert the traffic and improve the overall transportation system. On the other hand, veterans raised their voices as the residents of Chandigarh and concerned citizens expressed their apprehensions. Drawing attention to the long-term repercussions of such development, rooting for conservation of the city against the infrastructural qualification. The fate of the city now hangs in balance. Known for its forward thinking, urban planning, the city now has opportunity to lead by example, demonstrating the benefits of alternative transformation options, or the second option, take this part of building for the sake of progress and taking forward this second possibility. The, tan the proposed flyover of Chandigarh leads down a path of further urbanization of the concrete and transforms it into another gentrified metropolitan city. Case studies from cities like Seoul, which implemented flyovers decades ago, demonstrate that such solutions have not effectively solved traffic issues even till date and have resulted in a concrete jungle of bridges and flyovers just pushing the traffic till the next point and creating a vicious cycle of building over buildings. The socio-political growth of Chandigarh in the name of progress has led to the construction of additional infrastructure, eroding the once green cityscape and creating more areas susceptible to traffic congestion. This approach prioritizes motorized transportation, degrading the potential of alternative models of movement. Year by year, high rises, metros, and these roads of the sky leave shreds of this emerald city behind, shifting its importance from what once was green fields to overpowering towers of concrete, eventually making it India's nth metropolitan ironically inculcating Kervius's vision of making every city like Chandigarh. His conservational approach is taken over by the socio-political influence, forgetting yet again its people, who are now overshadowed by the interiors and the built infrastructure. Chandigarh today stands at a crossroad. Will the city's occupants accept the repercussions of losing its heritage and accept this new reality? Or will they integrate the larger challenge of the sustainable and people-centric solutions into the fabric of the city? 
and continue this timeless countryside.